So today we're going to be doing something called the 21 foot rule. What the 21 foot rule is, is in law enforcement, it's recommended that you keep 21 feet from someone because that allows you to, if they charge at you, unholster your gun, cock it, and get two rounds off. Tests with hundreds of officers reveal that in most cases, a minimum reactionary gap of 21 feet is required to react and deliver at least two rounds and to have enough time to move out of the attacker's path. Supposedly we can do this by testing it out with a spring pistol and a training knife. And supposedly since we know that the other person will be charging at us, we can be ready for it a lot quicker than 21 feet. And so the question is how close can someone get before the knife is greater than the gun? Safety at the same time. This is what happens if you're not careful when you cock your gun. Let's try that again. Oh. Yeah. Did I hit the knife for you? I think you did. And my knuckle. So, now I'm gonna show you what a real cop would do. Go back down there. Okay. See, real cops don't have to do this every time they fire. So, we're gonna redo it. This is a true cop's 21 foot. As you can see, a cop could fire off probably at least two shots before he actually got to them. <laughs> okay, you, you're getting closer now. Yeah. Okay. Let's try from 21. Yeah, you have seen it. Yeah, you have the other guy coming up on me. Ah! Oh, I didn't cock it enough. You would have gotten me. Really? Try this. I could try listening to the footsteps. Okay. I'll try it. But this time I'm listening. Son of a gun. Hey, you said I had to run. Okay, 
riding. Damn. That was interesting. Yeah. So I got further back when I was night person. I had to get further away for you. You had to get closer for me. Yep. Whether that's quickness of the draw or just who can get there. It's probably who can get there faster. I feel like I'm a little quicker. Yeah, that and it might also be a little bit of the pulling of the gun. Pulling the draw faster. Yeah. yeah. I'm also used to this handgun. This one has a very stiff. So Again, any real officer will not have to pull. This is good for practice, but again, really want to practice this? Cock it first. Okay. Like, it gets real scary, because these things do sting at that range. Oh yeah. It gets really scary as you get closer. Or as you get farther and more likely to hit. And then of course there's when you had your back turned. Oh yeah, when I had my when I had my back turned, that was even scary because it's like I have to turn, get sights on, pull, all that. There was a lot more, even though it felt like it was just one more thing. There was a lot more to do. Yeah. All in all a fun test. That was fun. Hurt, but it was fun. Yeah. Rule of thumb. Don't let someone get close enough to stab you. Yeah. Keep your distance. Have your gun already cocked if you want. One in the chamber. All that business. When in doubt, don't be there. True. Run. Save your skin. Or just don't get yourself into a situation where you have to save your skin. True. True, true. But I mean, if you're an officer, you don't know what kind of people you're running into. True. They could easily be after you for whatever reason, mentally unstable. True. So, civilians stay out of trouble. Cops, be safe out there. Absolutely.